I think there's no better place to start than the confirmed season ending injury for Christian McCaffrey. So CMC was placed back on uh, injured reserve, meaning he is done for the season. Um, you got to think that makes Chubba Hubbard one of the go-tos, if not the go-to pickup of the week. Um, Hubbard averaged, averaged more than 20 touches per game and about 13 fantasy points per game in weeks four through eight when CMC missed time earlier this year. Obviously, that's yep. not CMC numbers, but that's RB2 or like high end RB2 weekly. Um, do you have any thoughts on is it Hubbard or I guess are you concerned at all about Amir Abdullah? No, it seems like it's the Hubbard Hubbard Express here. I I will say I do have concerns about him. It, this is a spend it if you got it. Like I would think I would spend everything if you possibly can. Or if you have any left. He's an absolute must add, right? Any one of the starting 32 running backs should be rostered and played. But with Carolina, they have the they're facing the teams in the playoffs that give up the th- the third fewest fantasy points to running backs. Buffalo, Tampa Bay, and New Orleans. Now, Tampa Bay, when I did the analysis, that might change a little bit, but they have by far and away the hardest playoff schedule. So after this week, um, they have a bye week, right? This week. So that sucks. And then Atlanta, Buffalo, Tampa Bay, New Orleans to end it. That's a brutal schedule. We don't know who their quarterback is. Uh, Cam Newton is, was awesome horrendous i've said for a month that cam newton is washed and cam newton is officially washed he's back to the bench uh or maybe even cut so if pj walker's there whatever so i just have reservations about the schedule he's a he's a potential all-in play he wasn't even that great when he was playing the first go round I mean, in half PPR, his biggest week was still under 16 points. He didn't really have that many touchdowns uh, when he was playing. He only had three rushing touchdowns, no receiving touchdowns. So maybe some touchdown progression when it comes to that. But they're just not going to score that many points against those defenses. So it's probably all in if you have it. But I would prefer Alexander Madison to, to Chubbard. I okay yes as, as, yes, as, I, as yes, I combine yes, his yes. first and let's, second name so there. let's let's go let's talk let's talk about him in a minute but yeah I agree with you I think Chubba Hubbard might be a lot of people's number one waiver wire ad because of what he was able to do before to me he is not my number one waiver wire ad it is uh Alexander Madison and I, I uh, in addition to all the reasons that you're concerned I don't think that you can necessarily completely put Amir Abdullah's work to the side. He actually played more than half of the snaps for the Panthers Mm -hmm. in week 12. Uh, He did only finish with 22 yards, but I mean, it was an absolute blowout loss. Cam was benched. Like it was, it was bad. Um, It was bad, but there was talk about getting Amir Abdullah more involved into the offense going into the week. Maybe Amir is worthy of a stash because Hubbard wasn't that like mind blowingly fantastic. Maybe, maybe he's at least a speculative ad. If you do miss out on Hubbard, maybe you just stash Amir Abdullah and see what happens. I also yeah. think nobody's going to run out and add Amir Abdullah other than like maybe 5% of ESPN league. So I think you can get Amir Abdullah for zero or $1 compared to Chuba, who's going to go for. I mean, real talk for all of it. Do you think it's people all of are going to spend like thirty yeah, to are fifty percent, or you think it's just yeah, screw it? No, it's just it's just full. People are going to do full sends. Yeah, I, I don't blame them. So we think Hubbard is probably a full send, but not our preferred full spend because we would both I would prefer agree. Alexander I would agree Madison. With that. And now, and I think, and I think Abdullah is definitely worth the zero ad. Yeah, and with him having the receptions, which 
I don't know. He he's been fine. He's had catch weeks of three, four, and four catches. That was weeks eight through ten. They talked about getting him in more work. He was play, he played more than half the snaps. If there's another yeah. blowout loss, they could just leave Abdullah in. Right. So I mean, he, he's not he's not a rookie. He knows pass protection probably a little bit better than than Chuba Hubbard, right? So that's that's what's driving at least marginally some of that. So to your point, I think Amir Abdullah is a good add for zero. He's on a bye week. He's rostered in 0.3% of leagues. I think we're both correct in saying that he's not the preferred all like send all on this. No. Uh, for this week. But I mean, if you can get him, I think you got to get him because the, the likelihood of them both being available in a league is not very high. When you say both of them being available, you mean Madison? Ma- Madison and Hubbard, yeah. Yes. Thanks for the clarification. Yep. 